Well, the county's revenue-sharing formula row is likely to deepen after Senate Majority Whip Irungu Kangata threatened to mobilize his colleagues from the Mount Kenya region to reject the Building Bridges Initiative report if the House shoots down a proposed formula of devolving the funds. Kangata, who is also the Muranga senator, claims those opposed to the formula were captives of 2022 State House succession politics. But his stand has sparked fury, with Minority Deputy Leader Cleophas Malala terming Kangata's utterances reckless and a threat to the handshake. Francis Kashuri reports on the scramble for the county's billions. The senators at least five times failed to agree on a formula that will be applied in sharing the 316.5 billion shillings allocated to county governments in the 2020-2021 financial year. Two days to yet another special sitting of the Senate, Majority Leader Irongo Kangata says there will be no further adjournments and the House must buy the bullet on Tuesday. If for any reason that uh, proposal will be defeated, then those of us who support His Excellency, we shall know there's no need for BBI. Because to us, the reason why we are supporting BBI as Mount Kenya leaders is because that BBI stands for one man, one shilling. And that is the whole concept underpinning the committee's proposal on how we should share the county revenue. His sentiments sparking fury. Senator Iru Kangata is dragging in his egocentric and selfish agenda in such an important matter. We cannot have a country whereby one region is benefiting at the expense of other regions in Kenya. The formula by Senate Finance Committee chaired by Kirinyaga Senator Charles Kibiru, if adopted, will slash allocation to 18 counties and increase the share for 29 counties. The committee, however, recommends that the formula applies from 2021-2022 financial year and is predicated on an increase in the amount of devolved resources to at least 35% as proposed in the BBI draft report. That translates to about an extra 10 billion per county. So the idea that people are fearing hey, some counties are going to lose is hogwash. It's not true. It's false. The committee proposal has split the Senate and defied the political environment in the House after the March 2018 handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga. If the formula is applied, Nandi, Wasin Gishu, Nakuru, Kakamega and Kiambu counties would be the biggest beneficiaries with an increased allocation of between 986 million shillings and 1.4 billion shillings. Bungoma, Kirinyaga, West Pokot, Baringo and Bomet counties would each get an extra financial muscle of between 673 million shillings and 837 million shillings. Siaya, Busia, Migori, Meru and Laikipia counties also make it to the list of top 15 counties counties that stand to gain. The idea of framing the debate as if we are assisting Mount Kenya is neither here nor there. And therefore, if we don't pass this formula, then we shall reconsider our stand in BBI. As the senator for Kakamega, my, my county is benefiting from the CRA formula, but I've said Kenya is bigger than Kakamega County. We are going to ensure that no county loses even a single cent in the in the in the in the formula that is going to be proportioned. Senators from the eighteen counties that are likely to lose have contested the formula. Wajir, Mandera, Marsabit, Tana River and Garissa counties would be the biggest losers should the formula sail through on Tuesday. Mombasa Kwale, Narok, Isiolo and Kilifi counties could lose between 878 million shillings and 1.02 billion shillings if the committee revenue sharing proposal is approved. Trukana, Nyamira, Taita Taveta and Darakanidhi counties will have their allocation slashed by at least 367 million shillings, while Vihiga, Makueni, Samburu and Kitui counties will lose between 219 million shillings and 361 million shillings. Na tunamuamba rais ambayo tunamsupport. Askize wa senators wanasema nini? Asisikize tu kikundi cha watu ambao wanakwenda kule kum, kumdanganya danganya kule. This is not a matter which will allow outside influence. And we know there are people peddling names of the executive members, which is a lie. This country must go forward. 
there are no, count, no counties are meant to lose, no counties are, are born to, to gain. Lakini hatuwezi kufuata wakati wao natupaka nyuma mafuta na nyuma ya chupa. Eh? Kama wanasema kwamba pesa zigawanywe kisawasawa, basi tuanze sasa mwaka huu. Tusizungumzie BBI mwaka ujao au wakati ujao wakati kwa sasa tunaumia. What the counties that they perceive they are losing in courts should do is try another alternative way of bridging the gap of not losing. But on this one, we must give money to the people, not to anything else. With the battle for political numbers in 2022, the handshake dynamics and the scramble for devolved funds, which way Senate, the answer will be found on Tuesday. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.